This web lecture is about methylation-specific PCR. Methylation-specific PCR, also known as MSP, is a method used to scan DNA for alterations made to the DNA via CPG islands. A CPG island is a cytosine followed by a guanine. Methylation of DNA acts as the way to repress gene transcription, but can also be used to completely silence a gene, often used by cancer cells to silence tumor suppressor genes. The technique is highly sensitive, as it is able to detect methylation at 0.1% out of 50 nanograms of DNA. Sodium bisulfate is used to convert all unmethylated cytosines from CPG islands to uracil. The difference between a methylated and unmethylated cytosine is the extra methyl group that is attached to the cytosine. Transcription factors will not be able to bind to the methylated DNA, which leads to the suppression or silencing of the gene. To assess the methylation status of a strand of DNA, bisulfite conversion is used. This technique converts the unmethylated cytosine into a uracil. First, the DNA is denatured to weaken the bonds and create fragments of genomic DNA. Then, the sodium bisulfide binds to the cytosine, creating cytosine sulfonate. The cytosine sulfonate then undergoes hydrolytic deanimation, creating uracil sulfonate. The sulfate group is then removed via desulfonation, generating uracil. A 5-methylated cytosine is unable to undergo this process and will remain intact. A methylated DNA strand would then look like this, and an unmethylated DNA strand would look like this. To detect the difference between the two DNA strands, two different primers are used. A primer with the methylated sequence and a primer with the unmethylated sequence. Methylated strand will bind to the methylated primer and won't be able to bind to the unmethylated primer. And the unmethylated strand will bind to the unmethylated primer and won't be able to bind to the methylated primer. A sample strand of DNA will be PCR'd with both primers separately to see if any alterations were made to the DNA to check if all the work was done properly, without any contamination, and to see if the primers work, a few control samples are used. A strand of methylated DNA, which is known to be fully methylated, will be used to test the primer of the methylated sequence. Its counterpart, the unmethylated primer, will be tested with a strand of unmethylated DNA. To test for any contamination, all previous steps are performed without the sample DNA, and to test the PCR master mix for contamination, nuclease free water will replace the sample DNA. A standard PCR protocol will be performed to increase the amount of detectable DNA. After the PCR, the samples and controls will be separated with gel electrophoresis. The results will then look as followed. A marker is used to quantify the amount of DNA, but negative controls should not have any data in the column to show that no contamination was found. Both primers should only have one band of DNA in the column to show that each of the primers has done their work. Sample 1 does not contain methylated DNA, which means it will only show up in the methylated column and not in the unmethylated column. Sample 2 does not contain any methylated DNA, which means it will only show up in the unmethylated column and not in the methylated column.